and uh, welcome to my channel. I hope you're having a good bank holiday. I'll be taking my children out in the next uh, couple of hours, but within the next two hours, I've got a plan. In the last few days, I have put together a list of a hundred questions. Get it? Hundred questions on B1. That's the paper that you are doing in the next seven days. On the 15th of May, students all over the, uh, the UK who are taking the uh, GCSE exam will be taking their biology B1 or paper one, depending on the exam board and how they have uh, chosen to call it. So these are the questions based on the AQA and some of them are also based on the EDSL because there are a few changes uh, when you go through, when you move from, there are a few differences, not changes, when you move from one example to the other. So without wasting much time, I've put together a hundred questions. But because I want the videos to be really short, these, I've called this one of 10 of 100 B1 questions. But today I'm going to upload all the videos and I will put the questions and the mark scheme online as well so you can download it if you want that so really quickly the number one prokaryotes and eukaryotes so prokaryotic cells they do not have a nucleus they do not have chromosomes however they have chromosomal dna for example bacterial cells are example of prokaryotic cell when ras eukaryotic cells have and they all have nuclear they have chromosomes in them examples are plant and animal cells like we know it and they are also bigger in size than prokaryotes now what's a plasmid a plasmid is a small hoop loop of dna which is found in some bacteria and then this is the diagram of a bacteria it has a flagellum it has a cell wall cytoplasm this is the plasmid dna this is the cell membrane this is the chromosomal dna you also have ribosomes in terms of a, uh, a plant cell it has a cell wall like a plant cell and like an animal cell it has a flagellum so there are similarities in case that question was to pop up on your paper and then number four the things a plant cells have that animal cells do not have are the cell wall the vacuum and the chloroplast all the other features are by and large the same in a plant and an animal cell and the specific functions of um, um, organelles you find in the animal and plant cell mitochondria is the place where respiration happens ribosome is involved in protein synthesis and chloroplast in plant cell they are involved in photosynthesis you also have the cytoplasm which is a jelly like material that you find in the plant cell where all reactions happen you also have the nucleus in both plant and animal cell which uh, call the dna and you have the cell membrane the function of cell membrane is that it controls what goes in and out of the cell so very quickly that's my comparison for you number six differentiation or specialization is when cells become shaped in a specific way for a specific function quick example the sperm cell is a specialized cell it has a tail for swimming to reach the egg and a pointed head to pierce through the egg. By the way, it also has um, some uh, enzymes. The uh, it has some enzymes in the head which it uses to uh, uh, dissolve the wall of the of the egg cell in order for it to successfully um, pierce through. And then I said the egg cell is very rich in fat to sustain the developing zygote before it's able to turn into a fetus and attach itself to the mother with the umbilical cord with which it can get nutrients and oxygen from the mother. And then number eight, the electron microscope, in terms of how it is better than the light microscope, it has higher magnification and a greater resolution, which means it's able to allow us to see the inside of cells in greater details. So you can easily pick out the nucleus from the cytoplasm. You can pick out the micro, the other subcellular structures using an electron microscope. And then number nine, mitosis is different from meiosis in the sense that two daughter cells are produced at the end of mitosis, which are deployed in nature. And at the end of meiosis, four daughter cells are produced, which are half the number of chromosomes of the of the uh, parent cell and this is how you end up having gametes gametes are sex cells so in human cells mitosis will end up as 
46 chromosomes in the cell body will be two daughter cells and meiosis will produce four daughter cells with 23 chromosomes each sometimes they could ask you a question and say after three steps or uh, after two stages of mitosis how many cells are produced the first stage will be division and it will be two cells and the next step two cells will divide into four cells and that means you end up with four cells now the last one diploid cells are a pair of each chromosome so you have chromosomes occurring in pair and in a human cell it's a total of 46 chromosomes or 23 pairs but haploid contains half the number of chromosomes as the parent cell so wait for two of uh, uh, num from number 11 to 20 and i'll go on until i go through all of these 100 questions see you in the next video